Hello. It's Vicky Harris from the Saturday News here. I wanted to have a talk to you about the moisturising research. Scientists and journalists work in very different worlds. But those worlds do collide regularly. Dr Evan Jones here. It's Angelica Brown here from Five Corners. We were wondering if you might be available for an interview this afternoon. What program was that again? And when you deal with the media, you want to have some idea what you're in for. That's where sciencemediasavvy.org can help. The Australian Science Media Centre, with the support of the CSIRO, has created a website that's a one-stop shop for media training. It's for scientists who are new to media, or it's for those who've had media training but want a quick refresher. Short videos show how radio, television and print or online are all distinctly different media worlds, each with its own rules. That's perfect. Excellent. So just obviously make sure you don't tap it or sort of, you know, right. cough into it. That'll be good. Alrighty, here we go, everybody. Uh, hello, this is Professor Jenny Rush. I'm here for an interview. Hello, how are you? Good afternoon, Jenny. Good afternoon, Tim. You know, there's been some, some really fascinating experiments done in this area. The videos show how best to shape your message for the medium you're dealing with. Well, I wouldn't put any, any scientist in front of a camera or allow them to talk to a journalist unless it's very clear what they're talking about. So, no jargon, thank you very much. Interviews with journalists give you a peek inside the media world, how it works and what journalists want from you. All we want you to do is be able to put your point across very clearly and with enthusiasm. Original research, novel findings, interesting things that people didn't know. Trying to sort of humanise those stories and, and maybe translate them maybe a bit more into plain English sometimes. We really enjoy doing that. Scientists who are old hands at dealing with the press talk about their experiences and offer their advice on how to make the most of media opportunities. I was dumped into it, quite frankly. and. Uh, and I made a lot of mistakes, I got some things right, and gradually through that year as Australian of the Year, I kind of evolved a better way of dealing with things. If you really only have that 10 second grab to give, I think it's really important to start with the big picture. And, and I think the secret lies in that. You can hear it in someone's voice when they're excited or when they're, and I actually, after the, my first interview, someone told that to me, and I, said, and I tried it and it worked. My, my voice changed when I smiled, so it was a really, really good thing to be told and it worked very well. The website covers radio, television, online and print mediums, and modules dealing with social media are in the pipeline. ScienceMediaSavvy.org, in your office or on your mobile device, there to help you make the most of a media opportunity. Mm -hmm.